All right, guys, welcome everyone to the Cardona Commentary, the first of the series. Tonight, I am watching back the match that changed my career, the match that changed my life. GCW Homecoming, 2021 Atlantic City, New Jersey, Nick Gage against Matt Cardona. Atlantic City, New Jersey, the Showboat Casino. This venue is now a mini golf. But yeah, I'm watching it now for the first time in years. The O radio hitting. Bro, the place absolutely hated me. The month prior, I uh, attacked Nick Gage in the same venue. I was dressed as a druid. Did the Moxley kind of shuffle shake, hit Gage with the DDT, and people thought it was Moxley. Big pop, right? And then I take off the mess, and it's me, and holy shit. My career changed in an instant. And uh, as you see, I'm walking out right now. I can't even get through through the, the crowd to the ring. It's, it, it's chaos. The camera's shaking, the security. These... People wanted to kill me. They wanted to rip me limb from limb. And it was something I've needed for so long. I mean, now, now it's, you know, I'm used to it. <laughs> it's been a couple of years. But at the time, I was not used to it. I, I, I was fresh off the 10-year the WWE babyface run. Look at this. Getting on, the, uh, getting on the apron, flipping everybody off. Look at that gear. Look how jacked I am, too, tan, uh, all white. I knew I was going to get a little bit of blood on me, so I'm like, oh, yeah, it'll be cool. We got a couple of trickles of blood, but look at, oh, I mean, you'll see in a little bit. Spoiler, uh, I'm covered head to toe. I got the the white T-shirt, the white pants, elbow pads, uh, <laughs> wrist tape in between the elbow pads, and gloves, purple gloves. I knew there was going to be glass. I knew there was going to be chaos. Like they're already throwing stuff. Oh, it's streamers, but still. You'll see later. They're throwing a lot more. I got the Hogan. Do a little Hogan post. The people absolutely hate me. Um, when I was approached to do this show, my, my knee-jerk reaction was, absolutely not. I'm not wrestling this criminal, this drug addict, Nick Gage, this guy, this deathmatch backyard wrestler. This guy was just on Dark Side of the Ring. He was basically accused of almost killing uh, David Arquette, a movie star, in the ring. I'm like, I'm not wrestling him. But then I took a step back and I realized, okay, this is going to create some buzz. This is going to create some controversy. Uh, I did not anticipate, nor did GCW anticipate, the amount of buzz it would create. On this night, we <laughs> trend number one over the Olympics over a UFC pay-per-view, which is unheard of because at the end of the day, this is an independent wrestling show. Yeah, because of the internet, because of Fight TV. And that's where I'm watching this right now, Fight TV. Um, it goes everywhere. And now here's the bell. The Nick Gage bell. Bro, I have goosebumps right now watching this back. You, Unless you've been in a GCW environment where Nick Gage makes an entrance... There's no way to really feel it. You know, you can't you can't just watch it on TV or watch it on your phone or watch it on a computer. It's unbelievable. And I'll be honest, I was scared to death. Scared to death before my music hit, thinking, are they gonna try to legitimately kill me in this ring? You know, <laughs> and have it trend? You know, Nick Gage kills <laughs> Zack Ryder. I wasn't sure. But, I mean, just look. See how they were mobbing me? They wanted to kill me. They want to they wanna embrace Nick. They want to hug Nick. He has a connection with the audience, and I talk about that all the time. Without a connection to the audience, you have nothing. Nick Gage has a connection with the audience that I have not seen before. Like, they just feel him. And these, these fans aren't all criminals or drug addicts, but they feel for Nick Gage. You know, Nick Gage makes them feel something. And that's what it's all about, you know. And on the flip side, 
They wanted to kill me. They wanted Nick to kill me. So it was just a perfect match. A perfect match because, you know, as an outsider looking in, if you know nothing about GCW, you look at Matt Cardona. Clean cut, right? Jack Tan. You look at Nick Gage. Shorts, t-shirt, missing teeth, bandana. Who's the heel? Who's the baby face? Well, GCW, Nick Gage is the baby face, and Matt Cardona is the heel. So, he's still not at the ring. The fans will not let him get to the ring. They just want to be a part of him. They just want, they just want to be in that MDK gang. You know, they want Nick. They want the fans. They want it all to be MDK together. It, it's just a wild scene. And, of course, Homecoming, for those who don't know, is the equivalent to uh, WrestleMania. I mean, obviously, it's not. It's not in a stadium, anyways. But, I mean, it's the most important GCW show of the year. Uh, this was 2021. Since then, I've been a part of GCW Homecoming. Oh, look at that detail full of figures. Uh, I've been a part of GCW Homecoming 2022, where Chelsea Green and I renewed our wedding vows. And Nick Gage, of course, ruined it. Carved me up with a pizza cutter. Hit my dad with a light tube. And this past year, 2023, it was myself and my new heater, Steph Delander, taking on Nick Gage and Maki Ito in a tag team death match. We were the Deathmatch Busters. We came out in a fucking Ecto-1. Um, but the story, Nick Gage versus Matt Cardona, it's been years in the making. And it's wild. This match, like I said, changed my career, changed my life. I'm in my office right now. I'm looking at an action figure two-pack of this. Like, when this match happened, I could not have anticipated, yeah, we're going to have not one, not two, but three action figure two packs based on this one match alone i'm looking over my right shoulder right now it's pretty wild i have two wrestlemania plaques me winning the ic title me and hawkins winning the tag team titles it's the old school plaque has the picture of us the the piece of the ring canvas i later i later after this match cut up my shirt sent it to the same company and they make a a homecoming plaque Autograph poster of me, uh, all bloody. Uh, autograph picture of me, all bloody. I mean, and instead of the canvas, it's a piece of my bloody shirt, and I made over twenty thousand dollars on just that. And then I sold the gloves separately. I sold the boots separately. Um, sold the pants separately. So I made a lot of money on this match, plus the payday, plus the figure deal, right? Plus everything it's done since. So man, I cannot emphasize enough what this match did for my life and my career um i really believe that when i go back to wwe and they make that i know they don't make like vhs and dvds anymore but when they make that 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 documentary on me that they're gonna have this and and showcase this match uh they're gonna have to pay brett lauderdale for the rights because this this match i really believe that in wrestling history will go down as uh I, I, what's the way to describe it? A business changing match? I think it. it I, you know what? I'll argue and say yeah, because because of this match, it led me to becoming somebody who doesn't need a major company to be successful. And I believe that I will prove to others down the line that they don't need a major company to be successful. If they just bust their ass, believe in themselves, and work their ass off, it can happen. So here we are. It's uh, it's it's crazy like watching this back because I see like all these familiars, fan faces and wrestlers who like at the time I didn't know, you know, like. Oh. <laughs> I just grabbed the mic from Emil, who I at the time really hated. <laughs> just grabbed the mic from called him a fucking mark. Look at that tan I got right now. That is a Hogan. That is a Hogan ninety eight tan. And what's, what's, what's weird for me to watch is, like I said, I've been a heel now, quote-unquote heel, for years since this match. But at this time, I was not. And, it, and the way I'm playing with the audience, and it's, like, it's so natural to me because this is something I wanted for so long was to be the bad guy, um, even in WWE towards the end. 
I had pitched to turn heel, but you can't just turn heel in WWE. You can't just like, you know, it doesn't work that way. There's there's writers, there's protocol, and it just wasn't in the cards for me then, and that's fine. But this was my chance to write my own story, and um, you know, the I don't. What did I do to turn heel? I just debuted, and these fans hated me. They absolutely hated me, and it was a snowball effect. It was a snowball effect. So I'd go to a next indie, and of course now social media and the internet, people see this stuff. So I go to a next indie, and let's say I don't know, I'm making up these numbers. Twenty five percent of the people booed me. Next time, fifty percent. Next time, seventy five percent. And now everywhere I go, middle fingers in my face, boo me. But now, now I think it's part of the show. We're like the fans. I have this like perfect situation right now where they want to come meet me before the show spend money for an autograph spend money for you know a photo with me or for me to you know sign one of their figures but then when i come out they want to get my face and say f you you know it's perfect um but yeah i remember at this time obviously this match we all know if you don't know you're you're gonna find out soon it, it changed everything for me and i remember at tna or impact um Tommy Dreamer told me, hey, stop posting about this match because they're going to start booing you at Impact. I said, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the, the best thing I've done in years. It's the talk of the internet. Talk of the internet. There's no way I'm, uh, there's no way I'm stopping. Oh, look at that big spy buster. Running in. Running in right into that spy buster. The stars from Nick Gage. Let's see what Nick Gage is going for here. He's, he's up, oh, putting me in the corner. Ah, oh, some shoulders in the corner. Oh, and I have his chops. I don't know if I'm going to do like DVD commentary or like wrestling commentary. Should I do a little of both? He's pounding down back Cardona. Oh, kicking him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's he going for now? What's he going for now? MDK. He's looking for something. What's he looking for? What? Oh, he's got, he's got the bottom of the tubes. He's got the bottle of light tubes. Oh, man. I fucking hate light tubes, by the way, guys. Look at, oh, my God. The Phillips light tubes. Cheap plug for Phillips. Oh, man. I'm dreading this already. He's got a light tube. Here we go. MDK all effing day. You waited too long. I pull him in. Oh, the light tube breaks. Oh, look at those forearms. Stiff forearms. He's busted wide open. Uh-oh, here it comes. Here it comes, baby. Oh, yeah. He's going for it. Little broski boot. Little broski boot. <laughs> and they're still the woo-woo-woo, the woo-woo-boo. Broski boot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Turn around, Matt. Turn around. Nick Cage is up. Nick Gage is up. Tube in hand. Uh-oh. Look at that. I can't get over that tan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He breaks the tube over his head. Scares me. I'm trying to get out of here. I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to power. <laughs> this is classic. This is fantastic. Here he comes. The fans won't let me out. They won't let me out. They won't let me <laughs> Here comes Gage. This is look GCW is nuts. It's just blood in the crowd. Nobody cares. No guardrails. No protective mats. Throws me into those chairs. Jesus. Oh my God. Launching me in. Oh, I miss this arena. The 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 uh, the atmosphere at the Showboat Arena. It's something else, man. It's something to. I mean, you'll never experience it unless you go mini golfing. <laughs> Oh, man. Nick Cage already covered in blood. We're like, what, five minutes into this match? Yeah, there's there, there's three two-packs of this. And, uh, you know, one of them is me and Nick with no blood, and one has the blood. Uh-oh. Fan. Oh! Hits me with a chair. Man. Nick Cage has the chair. I'm trying to get away. Where am I going here? It's fun to watch this because I haven't seen it in so, so long. Uh oh, not again. Oh, another one! Into the chair! Man. 
GCW, man, what a what a promotion. In my opinion, GCW is the number three promotion in the United States. WWE, AEW, you can debate all day long between you guys what's number one and two. But I firmly believe GCW is number three. I mean, oh my God, look at the detoff of figures. Not the detoff of figures. Oh, I don't, oh God. Oh my God. I nailed him. He almost knocked over those figures. Here I come with a steel chair right in the gut. Oh, boom, nailing Nick Gage with a chair. I'm telling him to move out of the way, telling these marks to move out of the way. Throwing them, throwing them away to the crowd, into those chairs I'm getting in the ring here. What am I doing? Uh-oh. I'm telling him to count him out. <laughs> I'm telling him to count him out. <laughs> There's no count outs. <laughs> All right, I'll do a little air broski. Here comes Aaron Broski. Woo! Oh, yeah. Big dive from the Broski. What was I just saying about... Uh, I was just saying something. Oh, yeah, GCW, number three promotion. It tours every single weekend all over the United States, all over the world. I mean, it's the number three. Impact, NWA, and I love those companies, too. They don't tour as much. As, as GCW. Oh, look at this. All right, here's this is funny. This is my first time using a light tube as a weapon. Look how, like, delicately I hit him. I mean, it still breaks and cuts him open, but I'm, like, afraid to swing it. Look at this one. Look at this. Because <laughs> I'm afraid. Like, I've never swung a light tube before. I'm afraid, like, if I swing it too hard, it's going to break. Oh, my God. I look, I look jacked. Man. This is a great, great match so far. It's violent. It's some, the, the whole wrestling world was tuning in. Because I think a lot of people want to see me fail, right? Look at that. Stomping on the light tube. That's good heat. That's good heat right there. And a big body slam. Shades. Shades of, <laughs> shades of Hogan and Andre at WrestleMania 3. Big body slam. Covered in blood. Nick Gage covered in blood here. Um, man. I don't have any cuts on me yet. I say yet because I'm about to be covered in blood. Covered. Uh, head to toe in blood. Look at that. The, the crimson mask on Nick Gage. Nick Gage, it's like, I don't know who you want to call, um, you know, Superman. But, like, if I'm Superman, Nick Gage is my kryptonite. If Nick Gage is Superman, I'm his kryptonite. You know, like, we are, like... The one thing that will always be able to 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 end each other, and I think we're gonna be married for a long time. I do think one day, if we became a tag team, imagine that: Nick Gage, Matt Corona tag team, Matt Corona, Nick Gage, the GCW tag team. I'll do my Sid pose, the master and the ruler of the world. Look at Big Vin over there, Big Vin, bottom corner, um, green hat. Big Vin is like the magic man for GCW. You need to build a fucking whatever. Nick. <laughs> oh, what's oh what's going on here? Oh, DDT at the glass. Uh, Big Vin will build whatever you want. Big Vin will get you. If you need light tubes, he'll he'll build it. If you need, uh, well, you don't build light tubes, but like the bundles, he'll tape them together. He'll do whatever you need. He's the best. Builds all the rings, everything. Oh, what's Nick Gage going for here? A little Vader bomb. Into an elbow on the steel chair. Now, guys, you can't really see this, but all of, like, the light tubes that, you know, it's glass, folks. So it's all, like, broke, and it's all in the ring. And whether or not I'm getting hit with things, I, I think I'm, I'm starting to bleed just from taking bumps in the glass. You know, you can see it on Nick Gage. Oh, speaking of glass. Look at that pane of glass. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's he doing with the pane of glass? And this is real glass, folks. This ain't like sugar glass or candy glass or whatever. This is the real effing deal. I remember in my head, before I, I, I pulled up to the show, I'm thinking, I'll do this match. But it's going to be like a glorified street fight. Safe and spectacular. No glass. No pizza cutter. And you saw what happened. <laughs> You're about to see what happened. He's setting it up. He's setting up the glass like it's a fucking door 
or table in the corner. Oh, here comes Macanona. Oh, kick in the kick in the face, a big test boot. One, two, oh, kick out by Nick Gage. Yeah, you could see me. I haven't been hit with any glass. Now there's I'm looking down at the blood. It's it's Gage's blood. It's blood from the uh oh, I got another tube. Yeah. Uh, I will say the adrenaline rush from this match. Indescribable. I never felt anything like it before or after. I got the light tube. Uh, here we go. A little more confident with the light tube. Breaking over his back. The fans don't like it, but I'm loving it. This is the maybe the most fun I've ever had in a match before because I knew I knew what was going on and was special. All right, I'm pointing to the glass. I'm going to send him. I'm going to send him into the glass. Look at this. Taking our time. Not rushing. Uh, choke. Good old choke. Good old choke. Yeah, where's Steph to land to, to pull him? <laughs> to pull him down into the rope when I, when, I, when I bring the referee away. It's wild like to see this and have no Chelsea by, by me. By, uh, no Steph to land by me. Solo. Solo, Matt Cardone. All right, Gage. Gage trying to fire himself up. Here I come, stalking him. Stalking my prey. Let's go, talking trash here. The fans just behind MTK the entire time. Uh -oh, what? What's it going to be? The Irish whip into the glass. No, reversal. Cardona puts on the brakes. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Turns around. Spear to the glass. Bro. <laughs> I, you, you should see currently my back, my arm. Still scars from this. I still... I'm, 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 I'm scarred for life because of this. After the show, I want to use this term loosely, doctor, quote unquote doctor, stitched me up, did a horrible job. I got infected, said they were dissolve, dissolvable stitches. They were not. Uh-oh. One second. Here comes the light tube party. Boom. Oh, now the blood's, oh, my God. Now it's coming. Uh, said, that, said they were dissolvable stitches. They were not. I got infected. Glass was moved from my back. Weeks later, I had to go to urgent care. It was unbelievable. Now, I'm covered in blood. Now, Nick Gage is in control. This is the comeback. Instead of the Hogan-like block, punch, 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 shoot off, boot. Oh, my God. Leg drop. It just, it just, oh, uh, look, I'm covered in blood. I'm covered in blood, and I can taste it. I can feel it running down my face into my eyes, and I'm, Look at this, begging off, begging off. Gage has got, he's got the light tube. Oh, no, he's bringing me over, 619 style. What's he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. Is he going to carve me up with the light tube? Listen to these people, these sickos. He's carving me up with the light tube. I'm covered in blood. Look at that. Breaks it over my head. There's just blood dripping down into my teeth. He's stabbing me. He's legit stabbing me. Oh, my God. I can't even watch this. I'm cringing watching this. No wonder my mother hated this. No wonder she hated this. I'm covered in blood. Oh, no, he's got the pizza cutter. He, look, and look at the people. These sick freaks. These sick freaks are going crazy. He's got the pizza cutter. He's got the pizza cutter. Oh, my. Look how much blood. I'm. Oh, my God. Oh, he's no, oh, just hitting the tubes. Oh, my God. He's just going crazy hitting the tubes. Oh, here we go. The blood is pouring. Look, look at the look at the crimson mask. Oh no. Oh my God. Here it comes. He kisses the pizza cutter like a psychopath. Ah! Oh my God! He's cut through the pizza cutter. He's cut through the pizza cutter. Oh my God! Look at this. I'm looking at his blood like it's real. I'm I'm, I'm screaming. <laughs> look at the blood just dripping out. I can't believe it. It looks like it looks like someone took a whole thing of like Halloween blood and, and poured on me. That's how much. Look at me. I'm saying, what the fuck? I can't. Oh my god, this is unbelievable. I think I'm in shock right now. Iconic scene right here. Nick Gage, he's got the pizza cutter. The people, he's gonna, he's gonna. No, don't do it again, Nick. Don't do it again, Nick. Don't. He's he's seeing like you know when you would throw a T-shirt like who wants it you know this side ladder this side ladder he's doing that to slice me with a pizza cutter. Oh, the holy GCW! Oh, he's just giving me little. I can't, bro. I literally had to turn away. I can't even watch. Oh my god, I'm watching like I'm watching a horror movie right now. This is disgusting. 
Oh my god, he's biting me! You sick freak! The sick freak! I am drenched at this point. Drenched in blood. I'd be shocked if YouTube doesn't take this down. <laughs> but, on, I mean, this is historic. Look And look at the people! On their feet. Over here, they're chanting. Over here. You sick freaks. But you know what? Nick Gage is giving the people what they want. Nick Gage understands it. He understands. Oh, my God. More light tubes. Jesus! Yeah, Nick Gage understands what the people want. He understands that you got to give them. You got to give them. You, you feed off that energy. Like John Cena, he taught me this once. When I'm in a hold, when someone's got me in like a chin lock, right? And the people are responding, fucking come up. Move. Let the fans know that their chants are working, that they're fueling you, that they're giving you strength, right? So I can't believe I'm making this comparison. Nick Gage is like John Cena because he hears those people and he brings his prey brings his victim to those people chanting over here, and then he slices them up with a pizza cutter. All right, he's setting up chairs here. Even I don't know what's coming up next. Oh, actually, I do. It just popped in my head. I know. This is this is like the spot that really messed me up physically. Um, I don't want to spoil it, but it's coming up soon. Look at my shirt now. A white shirt is now red. And he's just, Nick Gage is just taking these, these light tubes. Oh, my God. Jamming it into my skull. This is unbelievable. All right, so he's building some sort of, uh, some, he's building like a, a table with a glass pane. <laughs> so he's setting up these steel chairs. He's going to put a pane of glass over it. This is a psychotic. Now, luckily, this is the last match of the night. Imagine someone having to wrestle in this ring after this. I mean, I mean that happens at GCW often. They just do a pretty lazy sweep. Uh-oh. What's he doing here? Oh, back scratch with the blood? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, my God. What's he doing? He's putting me, he's putting me under this thing. I'm trying to remember what's going on here because I kind of forgot. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's putting me under of the glass. And he's going to jump through the glass, through me. Oh, my God. Sick freak. Oh, not another light tube. Another light tube. Oh, my God. He's just nailed me with these light tubes. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. GC Dub, GC Dub. And the fans on their feet. On their feet, they know they're witnessing history here. He's got this pane of glass, putting it on the door over me. He's going to crush me. He's going to jump on glass. He's going to sacrifice his body. Sacrifice his body. He's a freak. He's a freak. He's going to sacrifice his body, go through the glass just to stab me. Oh, no, here I come. I'm through with a light tube of my own. I hit him with a light tube. Look at that. And then, like, the glass just goes right into the Right to the people. Yeah, I'm giving a thumbs up. Look at me. What a son of a... That's an iconic photo if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself. All right, what's coming up next? I'm bringing up... Oh, no, I'm going to superplex him. I'm going to give him a good old superplex through the pain glass. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No. Don't do it, Matt. Don't do it, Matt. Here it comes. Superplex. Oh, my God. There's a glass. <laughs> All right. This was, the, this was the move. This was the move. Look, hey, look. If you can see here, the referee is telling me how much I'm bleeding, and he's scaring the shit out of me because, look, look at him. Look at him down at my arm and my, and my back. The blood is just like, I can't even describe it to you. It's like, it's, it's like ooze. It's like thick goo coming out. And the referee being scared is what scares me. You know, oh, here we go. I'm looking at it like, uh-oh. Am I going to die in this ring? 
Uh oh. Look at see. I'm looking like holy shit. We're talking, and he's like, oh oh my god, look at that. Jesus. Oh my god. Yep. This is it. I remember. I remember this was it. Like I was like, oh my god, this is like I'm gonna die in this ring. Big old tiger driver. One, two, kick out. Okay. Oh my. Look at that arm. Oh my god. Look how. Oh look. I'm scared to death at this point. It's. This is disgusting. <laughs> this is. Oh my. Look at that. I went all in on this match, and and you know what? Like that's why this match worked. Oh my god, look at that! That's why. Oh, that I just heard bloody variant action figure. Yeah, duh, they made three of them. Here we go, big old rough rider. Nope. Oh. Choke bomb. Oh my god, choke breaker. Jericho music. Oh, yeah, because he was about to wrestle Jericho and Dynamite. Oh, little little teaser like Jericho's coming. But he's not there, pal. He's not there, pal. Good little, good little, uh, good little teaser, though. I like it. Oh, who is it? Oh, I totally forgot this. Someone actually comes in the ring. It's not, it's not Jericho. Okay. What's this? A big old pray buster onto a chair? Pulls up the mess. It's not Jericho. Who is that? I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> I have no memory of this. I probably lost so much blood. I'm probably running on fumes here. No memory of this. He's kicking this fake Jericho out of the ring. Here I come. Code breaker. It's funny. It's the first time I ever did the code breaker, and now I use it all the time. <laughs> oh, it kicks out. Look at the blood. The shirt is completely red now. There, you. It's completely red. Unbelievable. Is this not iconic? This match. Is this not violent? Is this not GCW? If I would have went into this match. And didn't go all in, it wouldn't have worked. As Michael Hayes says, you can't be half pregnant. Uh oh. I'm doing the uh, the Moxley, <laughs> the Moxley shovel. They say fuck you, Moxley. Here we go. Am I going for that DDT? What's going to happen now? Picking up Nick Gage. Going for that DDT. Up oh, reversal. Up oh, kick. What's going on here? A big ol' pile driver out to the glass. Oh no, not another one. Oh my God, <laughs> right on my head, right on the glass. Now Nick Gage, he's going to put me away. What's he calling for? I'm pulling myself up, Rocky Balboa style. Somebody's coming. Oh, 303? Is that what the name? Oh, no, that's the band. Atticus Cougar, all these guys. I forget what this group is called. I should probably just read their shirt. And then I would know. 440. Okay. 440. Gage beating them all up, though. He's beating them all up. The big spine to the pine right there. These guys no longer in GCW. Shit can him over the top rope. Uh oh. Big ol'. Look at that butt crack. <laughs> look at that butt crack. You see a little butt crack right there. Fall away slam like he's Scott Hall. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Here's Atticus Cougar, spears him into the corner, just shoulder blocking him into the corner here, beating him up. Now here comes uh, the whole group beating him down, 4-4-0, beating down Nick Gage. These guys are not affiliated with me. I don't know what's going on here. All right, here comes, this is RSP, Ricky Shane Page. Gage's buddy. Tell him to stop. Telling 440 to stop it. Uh oh. Ricky Shane Page no longer in GCW. So I'm not quite sure, you know, where they had a falling out company wise. Maybe it's because I came in. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh oh. Atticus Cougar. Big slap in the face here by Ricky Shane Page. Ricky 
Uh, you can see him at MLW these days. He's still around. I worked Ricky after this. I, I actually enjoyed wrestling Ricky. All right, Ricky and Nick Gage standing tall here. Now they're beating up. 4-4-0. Four, four, oh. And I'm just, I'm just in the corner making sure I don't bleed to death. <laughs> making sure I don't bleed to death. Uh, catching my breath. RSP getting the, the fans chanting for him. Nick Gage in control. Uh -oh, a little choke breaker. Are we doing a double one? Gregory Iron. Oh, double choke breaker by Gage and RSP. All right. I'm still in the corner. I'm alive. Uh oh, here comes RSP. RSP putting the light tubes over my face. He's going to do the boot. Oh, no. Oh, low blow. Low blow. I used the bundle. I hit. I hit Nick Gage with the bundle. Yes, here it comes. Yes. I hit him with another bundle. This is it, baby. I've got goosebumps. The LI. The LI is up. Here it is. Radio silence. Here it is. One, two, three, and just like that. We have a death match king being crowned, being born. Look at the garbage thrown in the ring. Thrown in the ring garbage. Soda, beer, pizza cutters. Dave Meltzer said this was fake and, and planted. Dave Meltzer is fucking wrong. Look at this. Holding the title high. I did it. The new GCW world champion. If you could hear. Oh, my God. Look at dropping to my knees like Shawn Michaels. The boyhood dream has come true. Garbage. Soda. Beer, pizza cutters thrown into the ring, but I did it. I became the GCW world champion. The greatest night of my career, the greatest night of my life. Oh, I couldn't even leave through the crowd. Security had to bring me through the <laughs> through a different exit. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see this. I couldn't even go through the crowd. I had to leave through a different exit. There were people following me. It was unfucking believable. I did it though. GCW World Champion Matt Cardona that day. The Deathmatch King was born that day. GCW was put on the map. And that day, my life and career changed forever. Um, look at a bloody Nick Gage, a fallen Nick Gage. Nick is somebody who I respect so, so much. Um, and I owe him, I owe him pretty much. I don't want to say everything, but I owe him a lot. Because without this match, without Nick Gage, without GCW, I, I honestly believe there'd be no... Well, there definitely wouldn't be a Deathmatch King, but there would be no indie god, Matt Cardona. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this Cardona commentary. Let me know what matches you want to see next in the comments below. And until next time... Well, I don't have a, I don't have a close for this show, so... All hell, the Deathmatch... King.